do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter origin and evolution of life and in that we are studying topic significance of fossils now if i say that it would be possible to find out about dinosaurs if fossils were not available on the ghats of ganga fossils are the remains of an organism which help us to study about them so students let's study about fossils today if i talk about fossils in analogy or in detail i could say that dinosaurs which evolved years and years ago were found out or we could able to study them only because of the imprints of fossils or the skeleton found in different parts of the world now fossils could be molds they could be imprints or parts or impressions of hands and legs on different carvings or on stones or sometimes an entire organism could be fossil depending upon of what fossil you are trying to study now fossils could be simply said as petrified remains or impressions or hard skeleton of ancient organisms that were preserved in sedimentary rocks in molds etc now significance of fossils or if we simply say that fossils could be petrified or remains or dead remains or impressions of certain ancient organisms that could be lizard bird or reptile avians your dinosaurs whose fossils were found out or crow mammal man peking man all of them now this fossils depending upon the place that they were living in could be found at different locations they could be present on as impressions on sedimentary rocks stored beneath the surface of woods or at the sea floors may be buried by gradual depositions of layers of soil rocks or layers of soil one above the another for example your fossils of dinosaurs now dinosaurs were found mostly on the ghats of ganga and there skull was found beneath various layers of soil at the beach or at the sides of river ganga fossils could have great importance on the art or simply the zoological studies the excavation study the archaeological excavation study for of india for example whenever they find a fossil at any particular location they try and preserve them in specimens in the terms of museum or simply as herbarium depending upon the type of fossil they have found out
Now, what fossils can be used for to study the structure of that extinct organism or basically their planthological studies can be done widely or smoothly. To study the evolutionary history, how did the organism was created, who were their ancestors, who are the possessors, etc. If I could simply say, we could come around the phylogeny relationship of that particular organisms with fossil studies. Also, fossils try us to understand whether the organism live, what were the living style, what are the housing, habitat of that extinct organism, where was the origin of the organism. And they try to give us a connecting link between the organism. For example, when dinosaurs were found on the ghats of Ganga, after the excavation, it was tried to find out that where did they actually originated and who were the group mates or family consisted of. So I hope students in this part of the chapter, we did study about significance of fossils and you all are very clear about this concept. Thank you.